welcome to Wine Dan, the podcast where we talk about wine and literally everything that goes with it. And today it's donuts. Holy yes. grail donuts. <laughs> Please welcome Hannah to the show. Thank you for ha- coming. Thanks so much for having me. Anytime. I can't think of a better pairing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Now the so, pressure's on. Wine. You're excited yes. to drink the wine. We're super excited to drink, um, to eat the donuts. Amazing. So. Yeah. Have Thank you me. had our donuts before? I Perfect. have not. You have not? No, okay. so this will be an exciting experience for me. Amazing. Yes. So they're all taro based, um, fried in coconut oil. And then we rotate our menu each week. We make like a tasting menu. So it's perfect for pairing now wine pairing. I'm really excited to see what you uh, are going to pair with this. Don't series. get your hopes up too much. We're not, we're not really good here. <laughs> no? Uh, yeah, so Only done this a few times. I, I picked uh, two wines because they're taro based, yeah. because they're fried in coconut oil. Mm-hmm. Right? I picked two wines that have bubbles. Because for me, I mean, viewers of the show know how much I love texture, how much I like bubbles. Mm-hmm. Um, these are two wines uh, from Italy, from the Piedmont mm-hmm. region. Um, everybody knows about Moscato di Asti. Right? Like it's, it's everywhere. It's stacked on pallets in Costco. Um, not too many people know about their red variant called Brachetto, or in this case, a country style Burbet. Um, so I think maybe with the Calamansi, we should, we should try first. What's Amazing. the Calamansi donut? Yeah, so this is our Shama Farms flavor. Um, and it's got local Calamansi and mango. Mango's in season. And we try to rotate our menu with like hyper seasonality. So you get like the peak of each flavor. Oh, really? Know? Yeah. So, so even it's the very ingredients. tart and um, it kind of accentuates the taro uh, dough as well. So even the ingredients are as much as possible sourced locally. Yeah. Yeah. All our ingredients. That's why we rotate our menu every week. People think we're crazy, um, which we kind of I think are. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it's just we want to create a donut that has the most punch you in the face of flavor. So have you created wow. a donut? Yeah, so I think I've created over 60 flavors now that continue to rotate. <laughs> what? That's so fun. Which is your favorite? the most fun part about my job. Which is your favorite? Um, I have to say. That's like asking what's your favorite kid, right? I, you can't, can't. I know, it's all my little donut babies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say the most popular flavor is the reincarnated, um, and that's our maple smoked coconut mm. Hawaiian sea salt. Okay. So the yeah. one we're trying first, the Shawarma Farms, is this, this one? Shawarma Farms. Shawarma yeah. Farms, sorry. Yeah. Shawarma Farms. Is that named after a particular yeah, farm so that Yeah, so that's a farm in Kauai. Uh-huh. Now I'm, now I'm going to lose my Kauai card. <laughs> I can't go back. You should know this. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that was actually where Holy Grill started, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we started, um, my brother and I bought a burger food truck um, in Hanalei and with the intention of doing donuts just one day a week. Um, and so we ran the burger truck all week long. And then every Sunday, uh, we did Sunday ritual where we woke up at 3 a.m., transformed the burger trailer into a handmade taro donut company <laughs> for one day each week and then just threw down um, handmade fresh donuts. Okay, is there a particular reason why you chose taro? Yeah, we really wanted um, just to create a donut that celebrated the place that we live. Mm. So. Um, oh. Yeah, that's why we fry in coconut oil and rotate our menu each week too. So the taro's from Kauai as well. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I'm definitely, Aren't you happy? I can't go back. <laughs> I can't go back. And you're from Kauai. I am, mm-hmm. and that, yeah. I mean, I'm, my excuse is that maybe. So you know Hanalei taro. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's who we work with. Now I, well, <laughs> the hot new cheeses, they're going to call me up and like, yeah, yeah. No, I know. you're not invited this back guy? home anymore. <laughs> um, cool. Well, let's actually yeah. have you try the pairing. Awesome. Since you're the expert. Let's see. Where's yours? Thanks, Wendy. You pass me your plate. Yeah. I'm pairing. What We're just saying? trading all over. <laughs> do we go donut first and then? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do it however you like. Wine is <laughs> snobby enough, right? Mm-hmm. But I always like liquid as like a wash it down thing. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I even will keep the donut in my mouth or like the food actually in my mouth to see how the texture oh, wow. works. Well, you're mm. making me nervous. You're like, oh, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> no, you, you did a really great here. job here. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, so um, wow. you talk yeah. about sourcing it's local like things. Chardonnay. Yeah, well, local things, right? Like local ingredients. Yeah. This particular family, they're not local, as in they're not in Hawaii, but mm-hmm. this family has been farming since the 1900s, actually wow. the year 1900. And this, this bottle is a single vineyard Moscato. 
it's fermented to order, like everything, wow. just like your donuts, is all as fresh as possible. Yeah, the amount of attention to detail that goes into that. And you, is this a single, a state single orchard? Single vineyard, actually, yeah. Single vineyard, wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Can I just say that I do not know <laughs> why I have never tried these donuts before, they're amazing. <laughs> I was waiting for the donut puns to come right? out. The donut puns. Good, right? That's a great pairing, good job. You okay there, buddy? This is really, yeah. <laughs> I can't exactly. believe I haven't had it before. I tried to get them to All you right. guys still warm. Well, I hate to do this, but we're going to have to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk more donuts. Rest easy with the new windows from Windows Hawaii, featuring Ali'i Extreme Windows with their exclusive sound reduction and security package. Call 671-0808 today. 120-day peace of mind guarantee exclusively at Inspiration Interiors. Inspiration will refund you the difference if you find a lower price on identical merchandise delivered in Hawaii. Okay, so as I was saying during the break, you're really good at this, man. That pairing is incredible. Unreal. I sh so I shouldn't quit my day job? No, <laughs> not yet. No. No, but the, the sweet and the sweet, we were saying that it, it makes it more buttery, but there's no butter. It's buttery, it's like effervescent, mm -hmm. it's, there's some acid that really like, it cuts into that like dough too, the savory dough and the oil. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because the donut I just itself, like was a party in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We're gonna coin that. Yeah. We're gonna put it on one yeah. of the wine and t-shirts. Yeah, t -shirt. well done. Party well in done. my mouth. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so this is like, it's, like I said, you use the liquid to wash it down and it's sort of like mm -hmm. a pairing like that, but mm -hmm. to have both the food and the wine, I know it sounds disgusting, but just watch what it does texturally, like mm -hmm. how the bubbles play with the fried food, how at a certain point you can't tell like what's the food and what's the wine. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what pairing is. It's one plus one equals three. Like you said, there's no butter and this wine doesn't taste buttery by itself. The donuts itself are cooked perfect, perfectly. There's no mm -hmm. like extra oil, or extra butter, but by it, like together it tastes like something that you wouldn't ever have, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another bite. It's actually refreshing, which you know you don't really say often when you're eating a donut. <laughs> but the calamansi too, the acid from the calamansi and mango, just it's just like that brightness, crispness. And the fact that you, the way that you guys create your donuts and the mm -hmm. flavors, it's just, I mean, it, that oh, in itself you. is amazing. I'm thank blown you. away by the texture as well, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. that because the taro adds, mm -hmm. but then the dough itself, like it just adds the right amount of chewiness. But yeah. you got a crunch with it, with the whatever you put on top of it. Oh my gosh. Have you guys you. ever had a um, endogi? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of like a similar texture, right? Um, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. those people compare um, our donuts to that a lot. Of Which times. is like an yeah. Okinawan style of donut, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you guys were starting to like create, you know, the donuts, mm -hmm. how many tries was it like? Probably a lot. Hundreds. Wow. <laughs> we ate so many donuts. We. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we had it. We shared an apartment studio to like save up all our money to create this business. And we were just every night like tinkering away with the fryer and <laughs> making adjustments to our recipe. Um, and we're actually, I think, maybe the only donut shop in the world to create our own dry mix, which What's is that? like um, like the flour base with the sea oh. salt and a like, couple other secret ingredients. So people can actually purchase that? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. okay. No, no. You saw Holly a trial, right? Super secret. But we, that was the try. trial and error. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that we create. So we make our own dry mix and our own wet mix, as well as um, hacked our donut machine to work with coconut oil. So it was a lot of wow. um, R&D yeah. and donut eating. That's amazing. So, yeah. Um, you want to try the other one? Mm -hmm. I do. Which, which uh, donut? Mm. Should we go for next? Yeah. yeah, what do you recommend? Oh, uh, what was the guava one? Oh yeah, so that's our wild guava. Um, the pink one here. The pink one. Cool. And we With actually- the edible flowers. Our yes, stuff, um, we foraged the wild strawberry guavas, secret location here on Oahu to make this flavor. What? <laughs> a lot of secrets going on. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the holy grail. We'll drink Gotta more. Uncover Is it. that what mm -hmm. the name came from? Um, no, but it is, mm. we like to say it's like a pilgrimage, you know, of, of flavor and how we get there, so. What, Moani? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> cracking up at me the whole time. She's like, good. <laughs> it is really good together. Yeah, tell us about this wine. Yeah, so it's 
as I'm, I can't stop eating this. It's essentially made the same way as Moscato oh, Diasti, wow. but it's just a different grape. Mm -hmm. So instead of the white grape, mm -hmm. it's a red grape called Brichetto. This particular grape, it's, it's the synonym is Berbet as well. So Berbet is mm. like a country mm -hmm. style wine. Mm -hmm. It's very cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. Wow. But wow. there's bubbles in there as well, right? Mm -hmm. And I, you know what I love about both these pairings, and it, we are eating donuts, it's nothing is overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Not, everything is balanced, very balanced. Well, donuts mm -hmm. and coffee are, and that's, it's hard to that's displace pair. that pairing, right? Mm -hmm. Like everybody eats donuts and drink, drinks coffee, but for me it's, that's wow. why I couldn't pair it with a fortified wine. You don't want anything too heavy. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe for lesser donuts, like Dunkin's or whatever, you yeah. want to drink like that kind of stuff. But for something that's, Really, it showcases the ingredients. It's so. Yeah. Is it is it light? It okay, is. Like yeah. it's so light. It's light. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. shove the rest of this in my mouth. <laughs> well, while you shove that in your mouth, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll see you next time. So good. <laughs> Wine and brought to you by Locations, whose team of trusted neighborhood experts have been helping Kama'aina to buy and sell homes since 1969. Locally owned and operated. Wine and brought to you by Beachside Roofing, the leaders. Welcome back. All right, so we have two more donuts on our plate to try. Should we get into it? Or sure. is there, yeah. should we? Try it with a different wine. Yeah. What's next? I think what the, mm. so working at Alan Wong's, their signature dessert was the coconut, right? It was like, yeah, yeah, chocolate halpia that mm -hmm. came out to look like a coconut. Um, and you could never take that off the menu because it was iconic. Yeah. Um, at the end of every tasting menu, they served that dessert and they served a wine that was very similar to this. So I think even though we initially paired this with the guava mm -hmm. donut, maybe we should try, what was it? The Theobroma? No, the uh, reincarnated. Reincarnated. Yes. Yeah. That so is the donut that. where um, in Hanalei, when we used to take it off the menu, there would literally be riots, so we cannot take it off the menu. <laughs> um, it is our first flavor we ever created, and it's um, it's like our take on a maple bacon. So it's a real maple glaze with smoked coconut and Hawaiian sea salt. It's more savory, a uh, little bit smoky. And then it's just got that nice crunchy texture. And it's text that texture. right here. That's okay. the one, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Did you pair it with this Wait, one? Which yeah, one? for okay. sure. Okay, okay. okay. You, did you not hear my story? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, this is good. Nobody listens to me. You can really taste the smoke penis. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bacon. Mm. This one's powerful. Wow. But yeah, this is by far, it's like our signature. Flavor. I can see why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it work with the wine? That is amazing. Wow. I'm such a big sweets person too, so <gasps> this is like hitting the spot. Yes. This has made me a sweets person. <laughs> I love it. This has made you a sweet person? <laughs> oh, but it's not vegan though. It's okay. These are. It is. They're all, yeah. <laughs> he just Messing likes giving me S-H-I-T. <laughs> On the show all the whole time because yeah. I'm plant based. Mm -hmm. See, now we have to There's beep out four letters instead of just one word. <laughs> I didn't know if I could swear on <laughs> air. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that pairs really nicely. Yes. If I could, yeah, I would be vegan if I could just eat these donuts. Yeah. Legitimately. So I'm not vegan. My family, we're not vegan, but we, we wanted to create a donut that was like lighter. Um, I am supporting local agriculture. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we don't need to use dairy. Like, if you eat this and you don't know, you would think there's, you know, yeah. dairy I'd in argue right that butter. It's, I argue that it's better yeah. than yeah. donuts with butter. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you can't say that about any other food on the planet. Yeah. Like, that their vegan alternative is better. Mm -hmm. This is 100% like better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't advertise it either. No, it's actually, pretty funny. Really? <laughs> we don't. Why is that? Um, we, just, we just want people to come in with an open mind and, like, try our product. And then it's like, surprise, these are all plant-based, like, so. Uh, that's yeah. how you hook them, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I love yeah. about your guys' yeah. donuts is like, I mean, sometimes you have two or three, but it, you don't feel heavy. <laughs> um, it's not five. heavy, it's something that you can eat. And it's just like, wow, yeah. this is so good. I don't feel heavy, I don't feel sluggish, I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten two donuts in one sitting in your entire life? <laughs> no. Really? Oh, so I just, I'm just wow. lazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this one is actually my favorite. 
the take on like the cinnamon. Oh, the theobroma. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good Maybe try that. that one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's talk like about this. Modicide. This is a really, our chocolate flavors are really exciting. Really um, good. We started working with Lidgate Farms on Kauai. You know Lidgate Farms? Yes. yes. That's Shout out to Will. <laughs> yes. Um, but anyway, we started working with them. And when we just had a, we were open one day a week, we were working with them. And we created the world's first single origin chocolate donut. And now we are buying so much Kawaii grown chocolate from Will that we have our single lot. So he has a, like a plot of land that's like dedicated to donuts. <laughs> so single vineyard chocolate yes. donuts. So like bringing that back to wine too, like it's, it's we're trying to do that with donuts. That's amazing. Bit. Yeah. And you have to say a little bit in how they farm it or how they, mm -hmm. but you kind of let Will just do his thing. He does tours and um, yeah, we work, we work with him on our social media too. And that's amazing. Education, yeah. Wow. Do you want to try the Theobroma with the brevet? I do. As I pour myself another glass. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I'm good. No? Cool. Single mm, vineyard so chocolate. This really reminds mm -hmm. me of Matasadas, though. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that Matasadas are Portuguese, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Isn't that so like the... Where, where did donuts originate from? Like, who decided, I'm going to cut a hole mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and make this donut thing? Like, where did it originate from? <laughs> I believe it was the Dutch that first um, came oh. up with the first donut. Um, but then what's fascinating is like every culture has their own donut, right? Like mm. every culture has their own fried dough. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I went on a tour when we first started the business. I went traveling a little bit and tried donuts everywhere. <laughs> but um, Golub Jamun is one of my favorites. Where's that? Um, it's in India where they do like a honey soaked cardamom spices. Um, Hmm. But yeah, there's all kinds of donuts. And then there's the argument like, if there's no hole, if, is it a right. donut? Mm -hmm. You know? Well, let's get into that <laughs> argument after we take this break. Perfect. See you guys in a little bit. Welcome back to Wine and Donuts. Okay, so growing up, when I was a kid, my mom you know, would rush us off to school and we didn't always have time to have a full breakfast, so she would just get us like little powdered donuts. Yes. So that was my memory growing up, but what is your memory of donuts? I love it. Would you just get them at like a, a like corner store? Like the the yeah. or something and just, you know, like the little, yeah. yeah. But they didn't have holes in it, it was just like the, the, I love donut the small holes. circular ones. <laughs> but you, you said that it has to have the hole in it. Right? For me, I kind of, yeah, I kind of think like a donut, it needs to be fried, not baked. Mm. And it should have a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I like the donut holes sometimes. <laughs> but I do like the donut holes, yes, to be fair. Um, yeah, my memory growing up, I think I was just a sucker for like a Boston cream, like from the corner store from like a Safeway. Yeah. <laughs> um, I never really had like this I don't know, we never really had this great donut experience and that's partially what inspired us because we've always been such foodies and um, like to get like a hot fresh donut like made to order and like coming across that is so rare, right? Mm -hmm. um, there was a couple mom and pop stores and they shut down, um, which is sad. So we're like, oh, where do you get a fresh hot donut that like you don't feel like total crap after eating it, right? You know, because I would eat my Boston cream, right? And be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> feel horrible, right? Yeah. So so all of the donuts are made to order. Yeah, so they're all made to order, um, served hot, crispy on the outside, like moist on the inside. Um, I tried to get them to you guys as hot no. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> if they taste this good cold, yeah. right? I can't yeah. imagine. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So besides your donuts that you've created, mm -hmm. what are some of your favorites or like childhood favorites yeah um like i said earlier i love golab jamun which is like an indian take on a donut and it's um soaked in honey and cardamom spices Ooh. um do, do you do like r d here and like try out you know like oh yeah because like i'm sure people recognize <laughs> I'm trying you. to recreate it it's not as good <laughs> but like in the donut biz i'm sure people like know who you are and they recognize you but do you ever try to go into like other shops and like see what they got going on and try theirs and like walk away like mm. <laughs> um, I, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, like I said, we we're kind of doing something completely new and different. Um, I can't. I always like admire 
um, certain shops that are doing it really well, but it's always like a different model. Mm -hmm. um, Pips in Oregon is awesome. They do like made to order mini donuts. I'm a sucker for like hot, hot donuts, like hot bread, fresh bread. Um, yeah. Portland takes their donuts pretty seriously, right? They do. Like I see yes. like lines and lines of people. So we're originally, my brother and I started the company, um, but we're originally from Oregon. Oh. So the donut mecca, they say. Seriously, right? Yeah. I went yeah. to school in Oregon. So oh, I, cool. I was in Corvallis, but we would drive up to Portland just to try their oh. funky because they have weird stuff. So like was donuts like was a part of. Voodoo or something? Yeah, voodoo donuts. Yeah. I mean, they, all, they have voodoo, all kinds of Blue Star, yeah. Blue Star. I can't imagine yeah. standing in line that long for like yeah. a donut. But yeah. When but we first young. started, we had um, this hour and 45 minute waits every weekend to get our, to try our donuts. Wow. out of our wow. little tiny burger food truck. <laughs> People would wait an People hour wait. and crazy. 45 minutes yeah. for a donut. Wow. I mean, I think donuts are like, it's like this universal love language. Like when you <laughs> like say that. donuts, people are just happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I can't think of a better business to be in. Mm -hmm. People are just so happy to be there and they're happy to wait an hour and 45 minutes. And they don't just you know? take one. They take a whole box and they bring it to work or they mm -hmm. bring it to their families. And yeah, it's something you can share. Yeah. Right? I would wait two hours for these donuts. <laughs> really and bo business is booming, right? Like it's not just the location in Hanalei right now, right? Where else? We're doing could well. We find yeah. You? So we have our um, storefront pop up in Ward, and then we have our Waikiki food truck, and then our original location is still out of that little red burger trailer what? in Hanalei. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to go this weekend. Yeah, you got to go. He's actually <laughs> going to Kauai this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to go visit. Over there. We're, at, we're at West Side, but um, okay. see, make the I would make the drive. Make the pilgrimage. <laughs> yeah. And wait an hour and 45 minutes. Two. Yeah. On top uh, of that. Two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> How did you come up with your logo? Um, so our logo, our friend from Oregon drew it on a napkin and we just we went, went wow. with it. <laughs> well, I think the name in itself, Holy Grail spelt H-O-L-E-Y is so uh, clever. So make sure you guys you. follow them on Instagram. It's the Holy Grail, right? On Instagram. Holy Grail Donuts. Holy Grail Donuts. Yeah. Holy Grail Donuts. And then also we're going to go on and over to our YouTube extended version. So come on over, check us out, awesome. like, subscribe. Definitely follow our Instagram page at Wine and Podcasts. And we'll see you guys there. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to our extended version on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that like button. Tell your friends, fam, whoever you see. We are here with Hannah from Holy Grail Donuts. If you haven't watched the first couple of episodes, what should we talk about? What should we, how many flavors do you guys have? Let's see, we have like 60 and growing. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're coming up with new flavors each month, um, constantly being inspired by Hawaiian agriculture and all the rare exotic fruits. So I'm my job is also to like hunt out the most coveted rare fruits and flavors that we can come up with to make us. Do you have apart. like a lily koi one by any no. chance? Yes. Oh, we got a lily koi. Oh, we got cool. you next week on the menu. Yes, <laughs> next week. Next week. See, so Lanai wants to know if you could name them all because I called them your donut <laughs> babies before. And it's like, wait, if you if you mess like we might be here all night if I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or you miss one of your kid like one of your kids, right? You're like, yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. I can't believe I forgot. I know we, we have fun names though, like the ones we had today, Theobroma, that means food of the gods. Oh, um, that's cacao. Um, another favorite is a hail mary. It's cardamom rose. Um, Castaway. We got. I mean. I could go on and on, but can you do the Moani and Halia donut? Yes, <laughs> just name it after Let's us. Do it. Let's do would it. you do a wine and collab donut? <laughs> I think wine we should. Donut. That would I be awesome. We we you mentioned TV. something about breaking breaking bread. bread. So yeah, like we said, we started as like a Sunday ritual. I wore the shirt for you guys, by the way. It's our Last Supper That's wine and donuts. So cool. Um, so the whole concept started actually from like silly banter and my brother and I drinking wine and um, in Oregon and came coming up with the Holy Grail, right? Mm -hmm. With this silly concept um, that came to fruition. But anyways, so our Sunday ritual, um, it was, it's all about like pairing, our beverage pairings and our weekly donut rotating menu. And so Breaking Bread is like a collaboration that we just started doing with um, local chefs, collaborators, what? celebrities, you maybe. <laughs> I fall into none of those categories, but thank you, thank you. But uh, we do have a wine flavor um, called Communion um, that is like 
grandmother's cranberry recipe with a little Merlot Ooh, thrown in what? there. So, what? Yeah. How does that R&D <laughs> process work? I'm mostly asking because I want to be invited yep. to the next one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, lots of wine drinking. And, really? Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. I got that. <laughs> Any other substances? I mean, I'll bring them all. <laughs> Just you guys are donuts. so creative, though, just like I with know. the names and oh, the flavors. Yeah. It's it's really yeah, like how, amazing. How are you constantly like coming out with these ideas? Like you guys just sit down and like, all right, <laughs> that's just what, what's on your mind. Or, like, say, what Hail inspires Mary today. you? <laughs> yeah. Do you do anything outside of donuts? That I mean, now you? it's just all all in um, all donuts. Mm -hmm. But um, but you, you yeah, hike and forage. Donuts encapsulate joy, right? So if you're not having fun creating flavors and names, then I don't think you're doing it right. Right. Ultimately, like when you think of a donut, it doesn't it bring you joy a little bit. Yeah. 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 A lot, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, these do. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to eat the display donuts. Uh, well, not I only that, they're, might... they're beautiful and they, they make you happy when you just look at them. Yeah. <laughs> so there was no <laughs> culinary was background <laughs> beforehand or? Yeah. So I beforehand, I was doing um, private chefing. Um, worked on a farm. Oh, so your pedigree, it's not just growing oh, edible donuts. flowers, um, like rare exotic fruit. And then my brother, so I was on Kauai for nine years. Um, and my brother actually was running a donut delivery in college. Um, and we just cool. talk on the phone once a week. And I'm like, just so intrigued by what he's doing and vice versa. So one day I flew over there and I just threw stuff in a suitcase. I said, you're coming to Kauai with me. Oh, wow. And so I got him over there and we kind of collabed our minds and created the Holy Grail. <laughs> wow. So how is it though, like working with your brother and like having, of course, your siblings? Yeah. Do you ever like have like, no, I'm doing it this way. <laughs> oh, all the time. No. <laughs> Who has the final say? Uh, it's pretty. Remember, he's watching this now. It's pretty balanced. <laughs> I know he's going to watch this. We, we hired mom as our, so mom's our manager now. Oh. She's uh -huh. the GM for all of Hawaii. She keeps us in line. <laughs> wow, that's wow. So, so now you we're guys like can't full family. Mom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now we're full family run. Yeah. A lot of family businesses. It's like a theme. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Hawaii. Everybody's about Ohana, right? So yeah. we work together. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Cool. Gives, yeah. gives us an excuse to hang out. Yeah. yeah. I gave you the opportunity to say your brother. I did. Huh? I, I gave you the opportunity to say your brother. Like, who has the final say? Oh, my brother does. He I has mean, full control over you know, it. We know who really does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, so Chris, yeah. we're going to tie up a donut on a string. You're going to tie your hands behind your back and you're going to eat it, okay? I'm sorry, I'm actually drinking. I'm actually <laughs> just drinking kidding. Wine. <laughs> I'm about this life. So you, you really are into wine. It's not this just... This wine is fabulous. Mm. Oh, not this in particular, but wine in general. Mm -hmm. Like that really is your your Sunday, you drink wine. and you, Sunday, I drink wine, yeah. What's what's your favorite types? Um, I lately am into like uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Um, really those like light crisp um, just living in Hawaii it's been so hot lately too um, I've never had a wine and donut pairing <laughs> really yes do we do an okay job I don't know how that happened yeah. <laughs> I think you did a great job. Yeah. job thanks would you like some more wine I'm okay for you <laughs> I would <laughs> I, I think so, this one. so I'm gonna call you when we do our um, get our liquor license is there Empty a some wine pairings. brick and mortar in, in the works for like? We have one, yeah, in Kaka'ako right now at Ward. Um, and our whole beverage line is all um, pairings and it's all tap based beverages. So we got to we got to throw some wine. I'm on sorry, tap. I did not know about that. Yeah, we got to throw some wine on top. <laughs> so you don't you're trying to get your liquor license. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Working on it. How would you infuse it? What's the process? How would we infuse it? Oh, into a donut? Yeah, how would that, is there a process? That would be more of like a making like a glaze, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a wine-based glaze. Because there's a hail, the Merlot one. What is the name again of it? Communion. Communion. So yeah. you infuse that <laughs> so with great. Yeah, we, so we will cook down the wine, like orange zest, cranberry, fresh cranberries. And then we turn that into the glaze that goes on top of the cool. Yeah. But also a pairing. On you can side. only get that one during the holiday season, too. Oh, <laughs> I know. Have you guys ever created like a donut cake? 
or like no, a wedding cake. No, but that's got a donut, right? <laughs> I heard somebody's getting married. So. <laughs> and somebody really would love for you to be at the reception. <laughs> See, we're, we're, making that, we're helping her plan. I love it. I love that's it. That's basically the only reason we do the show. Yeah. 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 Make connections and like, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah, I'm not really into the whole <laughs> donut pig on pegs thing, though. I'm not really into it. Yeah, the donut too. on pegs thing? What's yeah, that? I don't know if I like it. Like they hang, <laughs> they actually like will have a donut wall and hang them on a um, like a peg or some yeah. type of structure and people can take it off and eat it. But I just never really was I'm into glad we're on the same page here <laughs> yeah, because I, just, I feel like we use so many fresh ingredients mm -hmm. and like edible flowers and fresh fruit. It was mm -hmm. just like we've had, we get a lot of requests for the pegs and I'm like, it just falls right off. Oh, so that's a thing. The toppings. Yeah. The pegs. It's a thing. I was hoping you weren't going to ask me for a, no. the donut peg. Yeah. No, I'm okay. good. We, no. What about the donut and the string thing? No? <laughs> that's not a thing? That might be a little, that might be better. Oh. Might be a little bit so better. So you do private events as well? We, I mean, so we kind of started right, we took off right before the um, pandemic. pandemic hit. So um, kind of haven't done too many events. Yeah. But hoping to in the future. Because I mean, it's all, like you mentioned, rare fruit rare flowers like yeah i can't imagine that these batches are big right like mm -hmm. how many how long is the run basically like how um usually a flavor lasts like a week and that yields about how many donuts um like when you make say i can't say off the top of my head quite a quite a few oh yeah um but so like the strawberry guava when we sell out we sell out it's like when the strawberry guava like i said we have our team will go hike and individually pick all of these small, you've seen them, they're invasive yeah. here in Hawaii. Um, pick the strawberry guavas for the flavor. And then um, we usually have it on menu for about a week. People go nuts for this, for this one right here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Limited edition. And then. Single vineyard <laughs> donuts. It's a little Vegan bougie. donuts. Yes. yes, yes. But they're super affordable too. I mean, how much would one of these? Um, so they're like four dollars the a piece. Um, if you buy them individually, three dollars if you get the tasting box. Most We're people get the four pack, which mm -hmm. is the tasting box. You oh, essentially one for free. Three dollars each. Yeah. I'm all over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we need to have a show like Donut Hunters or something, looking <laughs> seeking out the. You should have your own TV was... show. You should have your own TV show, like foraging the things and, and like yeah. obviously like keep the location we secret. Have, we right. have a lot of fun with it. Have the donut of the week. Have These you guys flavors. had our finger? Li have you had a finger lime before? Mm -hmm. So we're that's next week on our menu, but it's um like citrus caviar. Yeah, oh, yeah. Literally, you open it; it's like the mm -hmm. beads, right? And it like pops in your mouth. Yep. So we put that on top of this donut with um, Tahitian lime curd, oh. um, a lemon sugar that we make in house. Roll the taro donut in that. And that's coming anyways. This that's week? why when people say I'm going to put that on a pig, I'm like. Mm. Let's not. Let's just Let's not. eat it hot and enjoy it. I know. Where do you get the finger limes from? Um, we haven't found a source here on Oahu, so we work with Ali, um, Aloha Honey Bee on Kauai. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he specializes in like the world's most exotic varieties of, of fruits and cacao and dragon fruit and yeah. So truly local essence. local things, like that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your friend circle must be like the most interesting drinking parties. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, invite me. Yeah. Invite He's me, saying that he so wants bring to the be wine. a part of the circle. Oh, Basically, friends. he would like to be Is a part. Is that a donut pun that I'm sensing? <gasps> circle oh. of friends. Oh wow, we just came up with something together. We should drink more often. <laughs> <laughs> Ali was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know. <laughs> The fun queen. Oh cool. Well, thank you so much, Hannah, for thank being on Thank you so the much show. for having me. And yeah, once yeah. again, website is holygirldonuts.com yep. and Correct. Instagram as well. What's your Same. Instagram? Sorry. Holy Grail Donuts. Holy Grail yep. Donuts. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very cool. Thank you so right, much. Guys. Thank you so much Cheers. for tuning thank in. You. Be sure to hit the like Cheers. button, subscribe, tell your friends. This was awesome. I didn't get in on the oh, cheers. I was doing my <laughs> ending job. I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you weren't drinking. <laughs> cheers, guys. She doesn't.